Bungie has just announced an update to their terms of service after the recent exotic class item macro controversy has come to light. In today's video, we're going to give you a full breakdown of what Bungie has changed in their terms of service, why they've changed it, and why a lot of people are talking about this, why this is the big buzz in Destiny 2. So the Destiny 2 team, which is obviously Bungie, they posted today just now saying update 805 rolled out earlier this month bringing Solstice, exotic class item drop rates, and more. We're taking an opportunity to update our restriction and ban policy to include AFK macro farming loot. All right, so here we go. They're going to go into, we're going to click on the link here and read into all of the details to this terms of service. If you don't know exactly what this is, though, obviously a lot of people were upset about the very low drop chances of getting the exact exotic class item you wanted. So they created a macro that would effectively move you around the pale heart and go and pick up chests so that way you didn't actually have to play the game. And so you could just, you know, set this thing to work all night and it would go around and pick up a bunch of chests. And so you'd wake up in the morning and you'd have a ton of exotic class items. Maybe you'd have the one you want. Now, obviously, that sounds really sketch. If you're a console player, you're like, what the heck? This sounds insane. Uh, but for PC players, this has become pretty commonplace because people have been using macros for many years. So let's see what the Destiny 2 team says here. Uh, restriction and ban policy input macro loot farming we have starting today we have revised our restriction and ban policy to include the use of input macros to automate gameplay while input macros can be beneficial accessible can be a beneficial accessibility tool for many and we intend to keep it that way some have been leveraging tools to automate gameplay players detected using automation to circumvent idle detection or perform automated activities to earn loot may be restricted or banned Loot includes, but is not limited to, XP, which is the, the one in the King's Fall. Materials, which people have done many times before in the past for various different materials, shards, etc. Um, which are gone now, but... Or drops, which is, e.g., exotic class items. They literally spell it out for you right here. They say, if you use a macro to get exotic class items, you will be restricted or banned. Or you could be, at least. Next up is automation or circumvention includes, but is not limited to, the use of programmable controllers keyboard and mouse adapters, advanced macros, or artificial intelligence. Very interesting. I'm about to go into chat GPT and say, you know, play Destiny 2 for me and get me that exotic class item. We got, we have no plans to retroactively issue bans or restrictions to anyone. So if you've been using macros for the exotic class items or for XP farms or for loot drops, you're safe. Don't worry. They're not retroactively going back and digging through the files and banning everyone over the last four years, because let's be honest, that would be about 85% of the PC population at this point in time, right? The console players out there shaking their fists at the screen angrily. I know, I know. But I'm telling you, like, it's in, it's very commonplace on PC. Sometimes I pull up my friends list and I look through my friends list and I can see countless people AFK macro farm like, you guys, we, this has got to stop at some point. And now Bungie is putting a stop to it. And any bans or restrictions related to this policy change will be issued for future infractions. So there you go. It'll be for any future infractions, so be mindful of that. Players who are currently using or have used macros for the above purposes may receive an in-game message warning against the future use of macros. Got it. So you might get an in-game warning. I'll have to see what happens when I launch Destiny 2 here in a moment. In fact, I'll try and boot this up right now, see if we get our in-game warning here. And then we got additionally a small amount of a small amount of account actions have been issued over the last few days for unrelated terms of use violations. What they're talking about in this is they're saying that those people that were, uh, they, ha they had their accounts banned, those six mods, apparently that was something completely different. Like I mentioned before, I didn't know if that was entirely the truth of the situation. Obviously we were getting their side of the story, not Bungie's side of the story, but now Bungie is giving their side of the story. And they're saying that those particular individuals were banned for other things that wasn't because they used the macros or because they developed macros and made a discord for it so good to get that actual information from bungie on that as a final note accessibility in games is important to us as we look into opportunities within destiny 2 to expand upon accessibility options we want to ensure players who are using macros for the purpose of accessibility will not be actioned upon so there it is so you can use macro if it's for accessibility i'm kidding no don't do that and don't try to use accessibility as a loophole. Although I will say that a lot of people do use accessibility tools like those Cronus Zen and Cronus Zims and they say it's for accessibility as a loophole to, you know, beat people up inside PvP because it gives them no stability and increased like aim assist mechanics and stuff. So uh, we'll see if people end up using it for that purpose. But I think Bungie will be able to sift through 
the honest and dishonest people in these situations and be able to ban the appropriate people. So it would be smart, especially if you care about your account in Destiny 2, to not use macros anymore, especially for gaining XP materials or, of course, the exotic class items. We'll see if they actually issued an in-game message here. I got my Destiny 2, the final shape popped up. And then we're going to go through and look at all the different replies that were brought up throughout all of this because there was obviously some spicy ones. We got uh, an individual responded to this saying, uh, there it is. Uh, but you're a hole for banning people before announcing it and acting on it, which obviously is, they already covered this in the article, but they actually go on to respond here, which is good on the Destiny 2 team for transparency here. We got from the post, any bans or restrictions related to this policy change will be issued for future in infractions. So it's not, it's not retroactive for future infractions. And then the second part was additionally, a small amount of account actions have been issued over the last few days for unrelated terms of use violations so a lot of people were speculating about that as well saying that the individuals that that got banned were probably banned for some other stuff that breaks terms of service i don't know what they're insinuating i'm not sure what they did and i don't want to sit here and speculate on things without any sort of evidence so that's just what people were saying online so i get i guess i see where they're coming from with that and then we'll look at some of his other replies we'll see if we got an, ourselves an in-game message here so i did not get an in-game message so maybe the, oh wait, wait there was one right there what was it what was it? Wait for it. No, it's just beyond the Vanguard. It was just my, I need to go reset Zavala. Next up, we have some replies from some content creators that we need to sift through here. We have Leopard who says, what about checkpoint bots? All right, I can't help but feel like this is the kid who reminds the teacher that they forgot to give out homework for the day, but I'm kidding. Uh, checkpoint bots is actually an important topic because checkpoint bots hold macros and or you hold the checkpoints using macros i should say and so they move up and down and they hold the checkpoints for various different encounters and the destiny 2 team actually responded in a different comment to this they actually didn't respond to leopard apparently they're a little salty at leopard after his uh nord vpn <laughs> disaster and so now they just decided to respond to their own tweet talking about it but they said they're seeing some cues about checkpoint bots and uh, we have no plans to issue restrictions or bans to checkpoint bots under this policy change breathe easy so if you are using a checkpoint bot you should not be banned or targeted for a ban for using that obviously this is going to be you know bungie would have to manually review this stuff to make sure that they get it right on that topic they want us to hit us with the feedback of activities you most often use checkbots for and why happy to pass that along which is good that the destiny 2 team is looking for that feedback but i feel like at this point in time we are years into using checkpoint bots that they should probably know that we're basically doing it because of the raid encounters you literally like if you want to do the raid like right here behind me and you want to go to the witness checkpoint you can't you know you have to beat all four encounters leading up to it sometimes it's nice to just be able to load into the exact encounter you want obviously this was an issue that was fixed very well with the last wish you have a wish wall you can go to the wall you can input the symbols and then boom you end up at the exact encounter you're looking for you can't do that in any of the raids since then though so they created this really cool mechanic and then they never came back to it so there's no wish wall for the Salvation's Edge and or any of the other raids really so unfortunately we have to use checkpoint bots which put a guardian in the spot and the AFK macro around and then you're able to load in on them using a join code and all are welcome to use those by the way you can use those on PC or console. Dado had an interesting point as well he said based but now it's time to do something about why people opt for those paths in the first place which is a very good point which is that you know it's great that you're removing the macro stuff from the game or like banning it or making it not just a part of the game like that's a good thing overall you know like that's better for the health of the game but like let's address the issue of why people are doing this in the first place like why because we make some of these systems exhausting we make them exhausting like the exotic class item ones we need to expedite these situations allow people to uh directly farm or focus farm for this the goal and the loot that they're looking for right we can't just make it complete rng and then expect people not to go down these routes um we have that is indeed the goal the destiny 2 team responded to dado though uh, and they said we have some changes to Zer coming that we announced last week and the team is continuing to look at opportunities for improvement they obviously doubled the drop rates for the first clear and then they also are adding it to Zer, which is an okay change but it's still not going to fix the issue uh no it can be frustrating um but increased feedback slash data showed the problem helps a lot rather than resorting to macros so there we are right now i would have preferred if bungie would have actually fixed the exotic class item issue and then 
gave us the restriction on macros rather than the other way around. I think they kind of did it ass backwards there. But let me know what you think down in the comments below about the whole situation. It's obviously a pretty crazy one and a pretty spicy update from Bungie. Not every day we see a direct update to the terms of service because, you know, they want to keep this stuff very concise and they want everyone to kind of know what's going on. It's going to take a while for the community to figure this out. Like, even if I make this video and a lot of you see it and a lot of people talk about it on Twitter, that's still like... I don't even maybe 10% of the player base like if everyone sees this on Twitter and people talk about it on YouTube and Reddit and everywhere else that's maybe 10% right there's still 90% of people out there that don't even know about it so then they're gonna log in two months from now boot up a macro inside King's Fall and then get banned and so updating the terms of service is something that Bungie chooses to do in very rare situations but it is appropriate in this one definitely need an update to the TOS about this one and overall I don't necessarily hate it I think that it is a like a good change like i don't think that everyone should be running around in destiny 2 using macros to farm things i also think that bungie should be very mindful of the time expectations required to, to get certain loot so to be mindful of you know respectful of how long it takes to get something so if you do the math on how long it would take someone to get the exact exotic class item they want the math is absurd right and so bungie should calculate that stuff before putting it into the game but let me know what you think down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the news in Destiny 2. As always, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.